Yo to kick. So today we got a man talking about how he feels. Let's just watch the video. I, I hate explaining it to you guys because y'all don't get the true feeling. He was arrested and charged with simple assault. He was arrested and charged with simple assault and terroristic threats. Following his arrest, he was transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Let's go to small car, Why is it happening? I'm being arrested? Yes. yes. For what? For what? I'll be with you in just one second. Mm -hmm. But still, he, um, I will need for you to fill out a statement for him. I don't want him arrested. I just want to leave this alone. No, but he had a weapon on him and it was terrorist threats. Brandishing is not a crime with a knife. Brandishing is brandishing. only a crime for a gun. Terrorist threats, though, sir. Because he said die to me and had his knife out? What, all that was done. Yeah. The threats, everything. Get, you, let me get a I statement. I thought you were going to arrest him. I wouldn't call him. I just wanted to leave this alone. I understand, but we still have a job to do. Now he's going to say, he's going to think I'm doing this because I'm white and he's black. Or he's homeless and I'm not. I don't want but did that. He, but did he do what he did? Yeah, but I don't want him thinking that I did it because he's in whatever situation he's in. I just want him to leave us alone. I doubt that. I'll be right back, okay? So this man feels guilty because it happened to be a black man that he called the cops on. Now, some people may be saying this is white guilt. And this is what society has gotten us to. I do think that does play a role, but I also think this is an emotional man at the same time. You know, he's really feels bad. Like he may just, he may just in himself feel bad, right? Because I've, I've never, I have, there's, there's, there's a situation back in the day. I called the cops on a white guy and I felt bad that they had arrested him. But at the same time, it was like, what else was I supposed to do? He's a threat. He was a threat to me. I had no choice but to call the cops, right? And so I did what I had to do, but I did feel bad because I know a person, I knew that guy's life was over. As soon as he went to jail, I knew it was over, you know? Um, and that person would probably never get out again because I already knew, I knew this person. And I knew they were trying to do better, but they had just lived such a bad life and their bad life was trickling into my life and I had no choice. It was, it was to protect everything that I love. That's me and my family. And so I did what I had to do back then. You know what I mean? That person's long gone. We'll be gone forever, as far as I know. But at the end of the day, you know, I did feel bad. This man felt bad. Now, do I think there is some white guilt going on here? There's some... Um, what would you say social media washing all that kind of stuff yeah i think that plays a role i don't know if he's crying because he thinks he's going to be seen as racist i don't i don't know if it matters because nobody knows who he is um but at the same time i think he's just thinking like man if this had been a white guy y'all would have left him alone that that my my point is to get him to leave us alone but now it's because i'm a white man and he's a black guy this is going to look terrible people are going to think i'm racist and i'm not i was just trying to get him to leave us alone uh I don't know, man. I just, I just, I don't have as much pure passion to say that this is one of those situations where I think that America has really made white people feel bad. In this case, in this particular case, I don't feel it in that way. I could be wrong. In this case, I truly feel that this man just feels bad for what he did. But maybe TikTok and maybe these uh, places have got him feeling like because he's a white guy, he should feel bad for calling the cops on a black guy. And maybe he does feel like he maybe come off as racist. And if that is true, man, society has really screwed us over where you can't call the you can't call the cops on somebody who's threatening you with a knife because they're black. That's insane. A person is a person at the end of the day. You gotta do what you do. I'll, like I said, I've done it. You think I don't you don't think I feel bad about doing that to an, uh, another black man? Right? But I don't care. If a black man is threatening me and my family, he's gotta go. So I don't care if he's black. You know what I mean? But I, of course, of course, 
Of course, some people, if I was back in my hometown, maybe some people maybe think I'm, uh, what do you call it? They take my black card. I'm a coon. I'm all this stuff. How could I call the cops on a black man? Hey, look, a black man is causing trouble. He got to go. But if he's a white guy, it's the same thing. If he's Hispanic, Asian, orange, green, if he's the Simpsons, I don't care. Everybody's got to go. But society has really has pushed this narrative that black people are I don't know how many people actually believe this, but this whole concept that y'all used to hear when they were doing all the riots and stuff and all the stuff that y'all are seeing happen in Chicago and uh, people just freaking robbing stores. Y'all saw that Louis Vuitton that got robbed. Walmart's getting robbed. at and getting robbed. What is that place? North. What is that place called? Y'all know what it's called. Northern something. They getting robbed. When we saw that little thing that happened in Chicago with that little that that. Um, Caucasian woman got beat up just for being white. And the only response that they got was, oh, well, this is because of all the years of anguish and 400 years of slavery. Dude, it's like, God, when are we going to get over that? I understand slavery happened, but you think that people are looting and burning down buildings because of that happening way back then? Does it always have to be white supremacy? Can we just say sometimes maybe we need to fix some stuff in the culture? Just because you call cops on a black man, maybe it's not because you're racist, maybe because the black man had a knife. It's not because he was black, it was because there was a man with a knife. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, man. I'm baffled at the stuff this stuff these things today once again me personally i don't think that this video is a whitewash video or white guilt video i just think this man truly felt bad and he thought man i didn't want to feel racist but i don't think it's because he was brainwashed but i could be wrong i don't know him normally i could see these cases a little bit better but in this particular situation just because the way he was reacting it just felt like he felt bad because he might have thought man this is just this dude is just going through some things man and i didn't mean to do that y'all let me know what y'all think peace